For all your TCG needs, make sure to check out alphatradingcardgames.com. What's up everybody, it's the Saber who find it for. If you ever wanted to figure out what modern Yu-Gi-Oh looks like, you're gonna find out today in this video, but I mean, who am I kidding? Everybody knows what to expect from modern Yu-Gi-Oh these days, but this is the Duelist Cup, and in the Duelist Cup, people were a lot more serious. You're not gonna see anybody trying to test shit out with Dark Magicians or whatever, even though Dark Magicians can't be a very strong deck, given the opportunity. But everybody was using Flower and Dries, burning a bitch shit, I guess, like, like what this guy's doing. And the fucking deck with Halkifabrax, Mecha Phantom Beast, the Lynx, and all the other bullshit Yang Zing, well, they're basically the point of that strategy is you get 50 free special summons and you get all of the broken synchros that negate everybody's shit. And you need 10 Raigekis to clear those fields. Uh, we're going to start a bit soft this first match. I guess it's not completely on that caliber, although he is doing broken stuff because these guys do broken stuff too. But the bigger problem was uh, kind of my average hand, maybe you could say. So we're going to start soft, but eventually we're going to get into the really good shit. And when I say good shit, I mean really bad, stupid bullshit is what I mean of cheating ass decks and strategies. Now, maybe things are supposed to be a bit fixed now that Chris and Hulgifabrax is banned. Um, but it's not really going to make much difference. There's a billion other cards that do the same shit that guy does. I mean, he was, I guess, the most flexible dude. And you also had a backup strategy with him that he can become a synchro on your opponent's turn. Like a coral dragon. What the fuck? But, I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! What modern Yu-Gi-Oh! is, is just... Using all of the cards that give you 50,000 pluses, free special summons, so you can get more summons, more summons. You start with 5 cards, you end up with 15, and this is how you can end up with 5 of the synchros that negate everything. This is what modern Yu Yu is. It's either that, or some sort of other FDK or lock strategy. It's not really about going back and forth. It's about how can I make my opponent not have a chance... This is the goal. This is what you got to do. And this is what everybody was doing in the Duelist Cup. It's, it's insane how this is possible. How <sighs> this is what the shit is. And it's just always an icing in the cake when they do all this shit. And then they just throw a maxi as soon as you draw. Like you'd even, you haven't even played a card and they throw the maxi. But anyway. So I can't really do much uh, with my hand. I had to neg so much just to get rid of some of his cards because if you don't get rid of them, like if I didn't get rid of Levier, he's just going to get more free special summons on his turn. But I had to minus a lot. I don't really have much going on and he got this dude back again because every freaking card floats. Every fucking card in the Phantom Knight deck replaces itself. Like, they search, they send cards in the graveyard, and then the cards they send in the graveyard get banished to give you effects. It's crazy. And, like I've said, this is just soft. Like, this is a very soft start. If I had a, a, a better hand, like a better start, I could have potentially dealt with this guy. But, because I didn't, it just makes things much worse. But, the matches after this one are going to be the real shit. But, let's just see... What this guy's gonna do still. Uh, of course, he's gonna go to this dude. Yeah, how can I forget of this dude? And now it's definitely gonna be over. So, this guy, the Bamboozing Shadow, um, fucked up name. I don't even think I said it right, but it's another card that also got banned that Phantom Lights like to bring out. The whole shtick is this you just bring out this dude, bring out the heroic, whatever challenger name is, uh, you put the materials onto him and he's invincible. Stuff that should not exist. Um, and be easy as hell to pull off too, like so autopilot. So once they do this, I mean, unless you've got like a kaiju in hand, you basically have no chance because um, you can't pop him, you can't even summon monsters, you, you can't do shit. Um, if it was like Baron de Flirt, and then maybe if I have like Raigeki Dark Hole and 
sorts of concealing light, then maybe you can force them to die eventually. But when they play that dude, you can only get rid of him with a kaiju. So, I'm gonna pop my dudes. You brought that other fucker as well. Generic, generic, easy as hell summon. I'm gonna chain down attack, but of course, you can negate the effect. So, struggling, struggling to survive, but it's gonna be an L. So, negate my effect, take the battle damage, and just uh, accept our fate of losing. I tried, but it is what it is. So this was a bit long actually too, I guess because I struggled a little bit in the beginning. But now we're going to get into the really good stuff. So grab your popcorn, grab your chocolates or whatever, just get your treat and sit tight and enjoy. So the Ignister fuckers, more fuckers that are autopilot. So these dudes, once again, I do not like them, I do not like any strategy that's just, uh, everything is just, you. you Build it yourself, I'll follow these instructions, you get the first dude out, the first dude is going to get this dude out, the other dude is going to get the uh, third dude out, fourth dude out, all this shit. And the goal is to bring out a guy that's also invincible to everything, and you need a kaiju to get rid of it. Now, I guess these guys, maybe, maybe, if you have like three freaking solemn judgments and solemn strikes, and you time them right, and get rid of the right link at the right time, maybe you can survive. But once again, because they've got like 50 billion searchers, like all of the little guys, almost all of them, give you a search when they get normal or special summoned. They've got this broken field spell that gives you free summons and limited times, as long as it's a different type of Ignister, that type of shit. And then other searchers and the links that summon dudes and... Just the same old shit, I mean, every freaking archetype is the same old shit, okay? Oh god, and the funny thing is, is that if I mentioned this shit to my friend Alpha Training Car Games, he's, he would even tell me, oh yeah, these guys, you're complaining, they're not even tier one. <laughs> he would tell me some shit like that, which, true or not, I don't give a fuck, it's still bullshit. So he's, he's doing his shit, and yeah. I do have Fusion Destiny in hand, at the very least, but, I mean, if he plays the dude, it's probably going to be like 5k, 6k, invincible to everything. I gotta somehow get like a Dreadmaster that's going to be 7k to kill him by battle. And it's not going to be easy because he can pop cards too. So, it's going to be really difficult. So this Synchro dude, he also does some broken shit. I don't remember right now. Uh, looking at the replay, but I know he does some nasty stuff. So he's going to go to the Splash Mage. So th this dude, what does this guy do? Similar shit to Chris and Hulk Everbrax. He just gives you a dude from the graveyard, not from the deck. And they got to be like cyber shit, whatever the fuck. But it's still, you know, uh, a, a dude that you summon that's going to give you another summon from whatever. Okay, so there's the dude, 5k. I'm going to Fusion Destiny immediately, and of course he has to maxi my fucking ass. So, yeah. Just cannot do shit. So if I decide to do anything, I'm going to give him free cards as well. I'm already going to give him one card. So we're going to have to summon Phoenix. He's going to get the free draw. And I'm going to allure, get rid of one of the Dread Masters. I had to open with both of them too, for fuck's sake. And pop the Field Spell. Uh, leave Celestial in attack mode. That was a fucking mistake, I'll admit that. And the Synchro dude, yeah, he does some shit. Put my back row in the deck. And, uh, I mean, it's a good thing he didn't get the chance to do this on Dreadmaster, on Phoenix. That would have sucked. So I'm going to keep getting Phoenix back, but he's not going to be affected by any attack decreases. Um, I can't pop him. Once again, you need like a kaiju to get rid of a cart like that. Or you need to get like a monster that's much bigger to beat it down. Which isn't always easy. Like uh, maybe if I was using Ancient Gears or Cyber Dragons, I can pull out like a machine fusion with 8k. But most decks aren't going to be able to do that. 
Like even with Dreadmaster, it's not easy to do that. Like I need to get a a few of the big D Hero fusions to boost my attack that much. This guy obviously isn't gonna let me. And it's gonna do some more shit this turn, of course, because all of these cards replace themselves, so he's doing the same shit as he did last turn. Fire Ignister, Light Ignister, Searchers all fucking day. Summon, 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 special summon a hundred times. Go into the links that are also going to special summon a hundred times. And then he's probably going to end up with a second of these dudes. And I won't be able to stop, stop him. I, I can't do shit to stop him, basically. So we just got to watch our demise that's incoming. Hopefully it's enjoyable to you guys. Hopefully at least my commentary is somewhat entertaining. So he went into this XYZ dragon dude. Uh, pop my dudes, okay. Didn't even get the chance to do anything. Uh, called by the grave, okay, so there goes my last hope. Destroy Phoenix. I mean, I, I wasn't winning this game anyway, but with called by the grave, that guy's out as well now, so... Just gonna finish me off. I think he should be able to do like 8k this turn. Oh, get another summon too. Perfect. Just perfect. So, game. Oh, actually, I, I got Dynatag. I can live for one more turn. Ah, uh, lovely. So, even though I barely survived by the skin of my teeth, is, is this is how you, the phrase is said, just barely survive. I can't do anything with the cards that I got against a field like this. The, the dude that's 5k, I, I can't deal with him. So best thing we can do is I guess go suicide mode or maybe I can just, yeah, go suicide instead of just killing somebody else. So that's another loss, of course. On to the next one. Maybe this is the last one or the semi-last one. God, this hand is horrible. This is something else, of course, that's in our way with using D heroes. Like, you can brick. I'm using cards that brick. And uh, right now that I've updated the deck, obviously they completely banned Celestial. I had to take that out. I had to take out a bunch of shit. I had to put Malicious in because you don't have much of a choice. But now that Malicious is in as well, I think I took out... Plasma 2, because then the deck would have been too inconsistent, but you just have more cards that are just going to break. So anyway, this dude is using Sword Soul, which is also an archetype that I truly hate with all my heart. I used it myself, but I hate this deck because... I actually know, what am I talking about? It's not Sword Soul. He's going to be using Sword Soul cards, probably, but he's going to be doing the Mecha Phantom Beast, I'll give her back shit. It's how I describe it. Get a bunch of free monsters or free tokens. Like, who the fuck thought? Let's make a card that's going to give a bunch of tokens. So motherfuckers can make multiple synchros and links. Why do people think, designers think, this is a good idea? It's on purpose. I mean, for fuck's sake. A scapegoat, like... All the way, like in the Go format days, the, the, the format is named after the card because it was broken. It's just giving you four tokens and all the shit you can do with metamorphosis and stuff. It's all you could do. Even in those days, getting a bunch of tokens on the field for free was busted. Just any card that gives you multiple monster presence, whether it's Dimension Fusion, whether it's... Uh, what was it called? Uh, soul charge, whether it's even something like hysteric, hyster hysteric party from the harpies, but I guess that has a bunch of limitations. Any card that gives you multiple cards is unfair, and there's so many cards that have shitty effects like these. There's that machine one, urgent schedule that gives you a bunch of machines, just a bunch of cards that do shit like that, and then. They print this Mecha Phantom Beast link. If you get a bunch of tokens, so you can do a bunch of a bunch of summons on links and synchros. Like I've said, back when we didn't have this shit, Scapegoat was broken as fuck. And now they're thinking printing cards like these these days is good. Oh my god, man. 
only for it to get banned and then they're gonna print another card with the same damn effect probably even more broken okay so we take another defeat against this dude and maybe this is the last match right now I think it must be so I'm gonna open up with an average hand I mean back row is good if you play it first if you don't especially if this guy's gonna be doing yeah this virtual world shit it's gonna summon the true king of all calamities and all the other fuckers alongside him and then solemn judgment is useless to me so other cards that got banned but why why did they make the dude in the first place is the question when you can summon rank nines or level nine synchros too for free insanity so all the all the virtual world dudes once again what do they do search guys special summon guys for free go to synchros all day long effects that resolve in the graveyard other shit it's just anyway so maybe i should just be quiet that you guys enjoy the show so beatrice it's the, the usual stuff i mean <laughs> as my friend once said uh, the true calamities that guy's effect is, is essentially once per turn you lose the duel that, that's what his effect was and they banned him but trust me it's only a matter of time before they print another card that does the similar shit I mean we've got other dudes that are problems anyway so did the format really get fixed with that guy out no we just got one less card to worry about okay but this bullshit is still going on. I straight the fuck up. I was playing the other day. Black wins. I'm using black wins right now. And just people are going to replace Halkifaprax with other similar cards. And then they're just, they're going to figure shit out. Just like with Fusion Destiny. People dropped Celestial if it's going to be banned. They're going to be using Dynatacks. Maybe they're going to be using Militias, Deniers. They're not going to stop using broken ass shit. Just because they limited the card. Um, same with the Rite of Aramisir shit. Like the, these fuckers too. Can't forget about these fuckers. You know, the chick, the Water Empress got limited. Are people going to stop using the shit? Fuck no. Okay, so, yeah, all of the damn setup. The Rite of Aramisir. Wind dude negating my shit. Free negate. King of Calamities. And... Uh, I can't attack. All I could do is just summon his own dude, which is 3k at least, but I can't attack. He's obviously going to pop my dude and do some other shit. He can. So what else was I supposed to do? If I don't summon anything, just leave my board open, I die. Summoning that dude didn't do anything. I'm going to die. Uh, put this on him in hand. I couldn't even resolve it. Not that it was going to make any difference. And it's just going to finish me off. So that's going to be the end of it. Um, down attack isn't really going to do shit here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this compilation of shitty excuse for matches. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. We'll see.